In this lesson, I am going to talk about Gram-Schmidt process. If we are given an inner product space V, and of course it has a basis, we can always turn a basis into an orthonormal basis. So the process of obtaining an orthonormal basis from a given basis of this space is what we call the Gram-Schmidt orthonormalization process. This process has three steps. First, we begin with the basis for our inner product space. We then convert it into an orthogonal basis. And the last step is to normalize each vector to form an orthonormal basis. Notice that you can actually stop here in step two if you just want to get an orthogonal basis. But of course, the nice thing with having an orthonormal basis is remember that when we write a vector w as a linear combination of the basis elements, wherein our basis is an orthonormal basis, the coefficients will just be the inner product of w with the basis elements in your orthonormal basis, correct? So that is why we want to turn all of our bases into an orthonormal basis. Here is our first step. We begin with our basis. And then we now define V prime as follows. The first vector is just the original vector that we had. They call that our V is V1 up to Vn. Now to get W2, the second vector, it's equal to V2 minus the inner product of V2 with W1 over, this is the length of W1 squared times W1. W3 is V3 minus, you get the inner product of V3 with W1 over the length again of W1 squared times W1 and so on and so forth. So basically what's happening there is we started with having W1 equal to V1. For W2, it's equal to V2 minus the inner product. And I put my arrow here. It's the inner product of V2 with W1 over the length of W1 squared times W1. When I want to go to W3, it's equal to V3 minus inner product of V3 with W2 over the length of W2 squared times W2 minus the inner product of V3 with W1 and so on. For W4, you start with V4 minus inner product of V4 with W3 and so on. You do that, you get the inner product of this vector with these vectors. If we define our Wi's as follows, and we collect all of them in a set, then that set will form an orthogonal basis. Then for step three, we just normalize each of the vectors that we obtained in step two to get an orthonormal basis for V. For example, let us apply the Gram-Schmidt orthonormalization process. We now turn this into an orthogonal basis. W1 is the same as v1. Next, w2 is equal to v2 minus inner product of v2 with w1 over the length of w1 squared times w1. v2 w1 is the dot product of 1, 2, 0 and 1, 1, 0. So this is equal to 1 plus 2, so that's 3. W1 squared, that's V1. So that's 1 squared plus 1 squared, we have 2. So therefore, our W2 is equal to V2, 1, 2, 0, minus 3 halves times W1. This is equal to negative one half, one half, zero. Next, let us get our W3. W3 is V3 minus, get the inner product of V3 with W1, then V3, W2 times 
W2. Let us evaluate V3, W1. So that's 0, 1, 2 dot product with W1, which is 1, 1, 0. This is equal to 1. What else? We want V3, W2. This is equal to 1 half. So let us now substitute. This is V3 is 0, 1, 2 minus V3, W1 is 1. And then W1 squared, the norm is 2 times W1 minus V3, W2, that's 1 half over the norm of W2 squared. Verify that the norm of W2 squared is also equal to 1 half times W2, which is negative 1 half, 1 half, 0. Upon performing this operation, this will turn out to be 0, 0, 2. So here are our W1, W2, and W3. These three vectors will form an orthogonal basis. Let's now turn this into unit vectors to get an orthonormal basis. Let us compute for the lengths of each vector. We have already computed that the length of W1 is square root of 2. The length of W2 is the square root of 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. So that's 1 over square root of 2. And the length of W3 is, of course, the square root of 2 squared, which is equal to 2. Our U1, which is W1 over the length of W1, is now equal to 1 over square root of 2, 1 over square root of 2, 0. Our U2 is... Negative square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, 0. And lastly, our u3 is equal to 0, 0, 1. These three elements will now be our orthonormal basis. Here's another example. Let us apply the Gram-Schmidt orthonormalization process to this basis. So remember also that the Gram-Schmidt orthonormalization process will always depend depend on the inner product that is defined on your vector space. So in this case, the inner product of two polynomials PQ is defined to be the integral of P of X times Q of X from negative 1 to 1. So let's proceed. Let us first compute W1. W1 is just equal to V1, so that's 1. W2 is V2 minus the integral of v2 with w1 all over w1 squared times w1. Let us compute the inner product of v2 and w1. So that's the integral from negative 1 to 1. v2 is x, w1 is just 1. This is equal to 0. Since this is equal to 0, we no longer have to compute for this. W2 is just equal to V2. Next, let us compute W3. W3 is V3 minus inner product of V3 with W1. Length of W1 squared. W1 minus V3. W2 all over W2 squared times W2. Let us compute V3, W1. V3 is x squared, whereas W1 is just 1. So therefore, this is equal to 2 thirds. 
let us compute W1 squared. W1 squared is the integral of 1 times 1. This is equal to 2. Next, let us compute V3 W2. This is the integral of x squared times W2 is equal to x. And this is equal to 0. So therefore, our W3 is equal to V3 and V3 is equal to x squared minus 2 thirds all over 2 times W1 which is equal to 1. So that's x squared minus 1 third. These vectors form an orthogonal basis for P3 using the defined inner product. Let us now normalize this to get an orthonormal basis. The length of W1 is equal to square root of 2. We've already calculated W1 squared earlier. Next, let us get the length of W2. This is the square root of the integral of W2 times W2. So that's x squared. This is equal to square root of 2 thirds. The length of W3 is the square root of the integral of x squared minus 1 third squared. This is equal to square root of 8 over 45. So therefore, our u1, which is w1 over the length of w1, is equal to 1 over square root of 2. u2 is x times square root of 3 over 2, so that's square root of 6 times x over 2 and lastly our u3 is x squared minus 1 third all over the square root of 8 over 45. These vectors will form an orthonormal basis for our three.